Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. There is also another video that I posted today where I am uh, sharing a close-up look on all those products including stamps, dies and um, stencils. So the first card that I'm working on today is uh, by using the Rain or Shine stamp set. I used my purple tape to mask off the bottom just to have a nice white area there which is going to provide some kind of ground for my little girl as well as an area to stamp my sentiment. And uh, I have applied some broken china for my sky. And just because this little girl is playing with the rain I am adding some uh, water splashes. I'm going to leave this to reactivate the distress oxide ink for a few seconds and then blot everything with a cloth. Now I can remove my purple tape and uh, put it aside because I will be using it uh, again later on. Now I'm going to use the die that cuts out this cloud because I want this to be a shaker card. I am trying to decide where this cloud is going to go just because I need to have enough space to put my little girl underneath as well as the sentiment. So now I'm going to stamp the sentiment first on the white area that I have. And now I will create my shaker window. So I'm adding some white Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and uh, the pouch fits nicely in there. I leave this panel on the side to dry and I will start working on my stamped image. To color my image I'm using my Zig Clean markers and uh, I have stamped my image on Bristol smooth paper. These markers work beautifully on top of this uh, paper and I find that they blend beautifully without even uh, working with water. I'm not going to add any water at all, I'm just doing the blending directly on the paper. Now since I'm sharing 8 cards in one video today, I don't have enough time to show you the whole uh, coloring. So with the magic of video editing, everything is uh, colored and cut out with the matching dies so that I can put my card together. Now this panel is also slightly smaller than the standard card, so I can have uh, areas of this image sticking out of uh, the panel and that's something that I always like to do, I think it adds more interest on my layouts. I'm going to stick the little birdie down and I'm actually using a, a new glue pen by Nouveau. This is the first time I'm trying it and I like it so far. It has a very fine tip uh, nib, just like a pen. And now it's finally time to add my confetti inside the cloud. For that I'm going to use confetti from this new set by Nouveau. There are four different colors of confetti in different shapes. And uh, I'm going to use two of those that I absolutely love. I'm going to use the aqua flakes and the turquoise stars. So I'm going to add a couple of scoops from the aqua flakes and these are actually flakes. You will see that at the end that um, they are just uh, perfect for adding into shaker cards. I also like that there is some static electricity that grabs some of those uh, confetti on top of um, the window. However, uh, some of them are uh, back at the background. I don't know how to explain this but uh, it makes the cloud actually look more fluffy. You will see that at the end of the video. So I'm going to just stick a piece of paper there and my cloud looks so pretty. I really love this confetti and they come in uh, many different colors. Make sure to check them out. Now I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card and you can see that uh, I get a lovely border all around it. And hopefully you can see here how fluffy the um, cloud looks just because there are some of those confetti on top of the window due to static electricity and some at the back. For the second card for today I'm going to create a really fun card using this piñata die. The idea here is to cut out different pieces that you stuck on top of this donkey to create your piñata. And of course you can use white paper, you can use pattern paper, you can use tissue paper, vellum, felt, whatever you like. I decided to go with uh, white paper, I have all the pieces here, it's just like magic, everything is colored. 
I colored all these little pieces with my Zig Clean Color markers and uh, I have also added some uh, water splashes on top just because I wanted to have that uh, watercolor look and I'm going to paper piece everything, just one on top of the other. Before sticking all these pieces down, I'm making sure that I manipulate the fringe somehow so it looks nice and fluffy and I'm working my way all the way to the top. Also don't forget to add the tail to your uh, piñata and it's nice and ready. Now at the very bottom there are some uh, areas that are not covered up which I'm going to color with the darkest color that I used for the tail. And my piñata is ready. Now I need to stick the eye just to make it look even cuter. There are two little pieces for the eyes so the largest one I colored black and then the tiniest one I have colored, uh, I left it white by the way, I'm using a wax pencil, which is great for picking up tiny little pieces, and it's really inexpensive. I used black cardstock to cut out the word Fiesta, and I'm adding some white Nouveau glue at the back, so that I can stick it on a white panel. This panel is slightly smaller than a standard card, so when I stick it on top of the card, it's going to leave a frame all around. I'm going to stick this at the very bottom. And for sticking down my piñata, I'm going to use one of those uh, springs that are called wobbles. I'm going to place it just behind my little piñata there. And I think this is the perfect card for adding one of those uh, wobbles, just because you can uh, move your piñata as much as you like. I'm also going to add the floss, just because I want it to look as if it is hanging from the top of my card. And I'm just securing my floss there with some uh, tape. This is not going to show after all. And now I can stick my piñata on top of my card. Now you can call this card done. It is a really fun card to play with. But I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to use the treats that are included in the, the stamp set that is called birthday piñata. I'm going to stamp some of them around my piñata and then color them in. I think there are two different designs which I'm going to use both of them. And finally I used a yellow cardstock as my card base. For my next card I'm going to create a Mother's Day card. I'm using flowers from the Bold Blossoms and I didn't actually use uh, two layers that uh, are um, meant to be used together. So you can really mix and match and uh, be creative. I have also cut out the letters M from the Mum dies and I have cut out this panel out of a um, pattern paper that is actually yellow. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but there are uh, little white dots on top. It is polka dot. I'm uh, putting everything together. So the flower is going to be the O for my uh, word mum. I'm also embellishing it with uh, the leaves that I have cut out. And there is my word. I have combined it with um, the sentiment i'm so lucky to have you this comes from the all about mom stamp set it has beautiful sentiments to use with this uh, word and my card is finished quick and easy but really beautiful for my next card i'm going to have some fun with my distress oxide inks I'm going to use three different inks of Distress Oxide inks, apply some on my craft mat there and then uh, apply some water and smooth the watercolor paper that I have here on top. Now you can of course do the same technique directly on top of your glass mat with slightly different results. I am going to show you on a video coming up of, with a review on this glass mat on the different looks that you can get if you are working directly on the glass mat with this technique or on this uh, craft mat that I'm using now. I'm going to stamp one of the frogs from the totally awesome stamp set and I like this guy because he is going to look as if he's floating on the water. I'm going to color him with my Aquaflow markers and just like magic, there he is, all colored and cut out. I'm also going to color with my Aquaflow markers the lily pads. I am stamping a sentiment that says how are things in your part of the pond and it is uh, in the same stamp set as the frog. I had to stamp it a couple of times just because I'm working on watercolor paper and it is quite textured. 
And now it's time to assemble my card. I'm going to add some foam tape at the back of this panel and stick it on top of a standard white card and then stick the frog on top as if he is floating and I'm going to embellish my little pond with the lily pads. I have also looked through my stash and tried to find the tiniest uh, die that I had for uh, flowers that I have uh, used to cut out these tiny little uh, white flowers and now I'm going to add a dot at the center with my nouveau drops and my card is ready. For this card I'm going to play with a tie that creates a bird bath. For creating a pattern for this bird bath I want it to look as if it is marble so I'm using an older uh, marble stamp by my favorite things. I'm adding uh, light grey ink and I will use this paper to cut out the bird bath. I'm also using the same ink to ink up all the edges of all the pieces for the bird bath before I put everything together. Now I'm adding all the pieces one on top of the other which is going to turn this bird bath into dimensional one. There is the ring for the top and on the inside you can add the water. Now I'm going to add a little detail at the bottom there. And to complete the look I'm going to add on the inside at the top the little strip of water. And here is a close-up look where hopefully you can see all the texture that I got from the stamping. It really looks as if it's made out of marble. For creating my little scene I'm going to stamp a couple of birds from the A Tweet Hello stamp set as well as some leaves. Now I have here everything I need for creating my little scene. I'm going to work on this light blue cardstock and I have cut out this grass. This is actually from a die by my favorite things from a previous release. The grass is providing uh, the ground for my bird path. I'm going to add the birdies on top and just because I want to have this yellow bird looking as if he is inside the bird path, I have cut out a part from the bottom. I'm going to stick him just tucked inside that bird bath. I also added the leaves at the base of my bird bath and now I'm going to add a few clouds on my sky. I used some glue to stick this panel on top of a standard card and now I'm going to stick the sentiment that says sending you a tweet hello. I used the sentiment from the same stamp set and just white embossed it on black cardstock. Now I'm going to create a graduation card that I can easily give to a boy or a girl. I'm using the tassel time stamp set and uh, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says the tassel was worth the hustle along with the hat that I have placed on top. I'm working on a watercolor paper and I'm going to stamp this a couple of times with a Versamark ink just because this is textured paper I need to make sure that I apply the ink nicely. And then I'm going to apply my white embossing powder and heat set it. And now I'm going to do the resist technique. So with my blending tool I'm going to apply Distress Oxide ink. I picked three different colors and I'm applying them with my blending tool. I just love how nicely these oxide inks blend and I'm working on a watercolor paper by the way. And to complete the look I'm adding some water splashes. I'm going to leave these to react with the oxide inks underneath for a few seconds and then I'm going to blot everything with a cloth. Now you can stick this panel on top of a card base and call it done but I wanted to add something extra so I am going to create my own tassel and just stick it there on top of the hat. And to create a tassel is really easy, I'm just using a yellow floss that I had from a previous card that I made on my table. I wrapped this around my two fingers a few times and I'm going to uh, wrap the two ends and tie a bow. If you notice I'm also using reverse tweezers which are really helpful when you need a third hand. And now all I need to do is to use my scissors and trim these loops at the end. Now to secure it on my hat I'm going to poke a hole at the top of the hat there. There is already a dot. I'm going to poke the hole and then uh, 
thread through the tail of my tassel and there you can secure it on top of your card with a glue dot, with a white glue, with a glossy accents, whatever you feel it's uh, better. I used my Nouveau Deluxe and it worked fine. And finally I'm going to stick this panel on top of a white standard card. That's for a quarter by five and a half and my card is ready. Now I'm going to create another shaker card using these cloud dies. I just love uh, shaker cards and I think that uh, this cloud is just adorable. So I am uh, going to use the stencil this time to create those raindrops as if they are falling from the cloud. And uh, I don't want the raindrops to go outside the lines of um, the cloud. So I'm masking uh, the outside areas. And I'm going to place the stencil on top, secure it with a little piece of uh, tape and then I'm going to apply with my spatula my Nouveau Mousse. This is Peony Pink and I'm going for a pink uh, color combo here but of course you can uh, turn this design into any color that you like. And of course for a similar look you can uh, go ahead and use your uh, modeling paste or embossing uh, paste, whatever you have on hand. The Nouveau Mousse is going to give a shine which is really beautiful at the end. Now I don't want to have uh, those um, raindrops falling all the way to the bottom. I want to have a little bit of uh, space there because I'm planning to stamp the sentiment down there. So I'm going to peel off the stencil now and see the result. And I'm going to leave this to dry so that I can continue creating my card. I'm going to stamp uh, thinking of you at the bottom of this panel and this sentiment comes from the aim for the clouds little stamp set. This is the cross my heart set by Novo and I'm going to use two of these uh, confetti jars for my cloud. You can quickly see the colors included in this set quickly. I am telling you they are just gorgeous, all of them. For this cloud today I'm going to combine two of them. So I'm going to apply my glue around my plastic pouch of this cloud. I'm going to place the panel on top and you see that it fits beautifully. And then I'm going to turn it around and add all the confetti that I need inside. This tool that I am using is by Tonic Studios and it has uh, two small spoons on each side and I find it really handy, especially for this type of work. So now I'm going to cover up this uh, window and everything is nicely trapped inside. And you can see how gorgeous it looks. I'm going to stick this panel on top of a standard card that I have covered up with black and white pattern paper and my card is complete. And now to the final card, this time I'm going to use the Loop Bloom die that actually cuts out and creates a lovely dimensional flower. I have cut it out from a smaller pattern paper which is not as uh, long as this strip just because I wanted to show you that you don't need to use such a long piece. It's going to work fine, it's just going to end up smaller. So I have added a strip of uh, double sided tape on one side and now I'm going to fold it in half making sure that both those edges are nicely aligned. And now you can either uh, score nicely the other end or you can leave it uh, as is like I'm doing here because this is going to turn my flower into being more fluffy. I'm going to pinch it with uh, my tweezers and now I'm going to uh, wrap it all around. At the end you can add some uh, glue or some uh, tape adhesive and this is going to hold everything together. You can also try and cut it out using felt, you will see that it's going to give you a beautiful result, totally different than uh, when you work with paper. It's going to be fluffier and bigger and uh, it's going to be a great focal point. 
Now, after sticking the end together, you can manipulate the petals so you can open it up or push them down. Just make it as thick or as uh, smooth as you like. Here is a close-up look and two more. Now, I have used the horizontal collage cover-up die to cut out this frame. I'm going to stick this with foam tape at the back on top of my standard card. So this is going to cover it up nicely, but it's going to leave a nice border as well as all those little windows. At the middle panel, I have already stamped uh, Be Happy and uh, I have added uh, foam tape at the back so it is going to fit nicely inside the center and it's going to be leveled with the rest of the frame. And now I'm going to stick down the flowers. I'm using some glue dots at the back nice big glue dots that they are going to hold them nicely and I'm placing every flower in a different window so here is Ginger who has uh, heard the wrapping of these glue dots and I think he thought it was a treat <laughs> so anyway he just left after smelling everything and um, making sure that it wasn't something he could eat to embellish my card even more, I'm going to stick down those uh, leaves and for those I'm using some uh, foam squares at the back so they are nicely leveled with the rest of the flower. Now you can leave the centers of the flowers as they are or you can stick inside little pearls, they would look beautiful. I'm going to leave them as they are for this card, but I'm going to add some uh, white uh, dots in different areas of the card with my white Nouveau Drops. And here is a look to all the 8 cards that I created for today using the April release by my favorite things. I had lots of fun creating them and I hope uh, I inspired you and I helped you out to decide which stamps and dies are for you. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those cards was your favorite. I really have fun reading that always. And um, you will find a list of all the supplies that I used in the supply list down below the video as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a fun event!